this was seeing those lines around the corner to see Medea's farewell tour. I don't know, man. Maybe maybe it's not over for that old bird. Medea's farewell tour, my final play, maybe. All right, Tyler Perry fans. Uh, as you saw, and um, I'm only recording the audio right now, so if I'm not super lazy, I will try to get the Tyler Perry clip where he talks about um, the Medea farewell tour. But I'm only going to get in the snippets where... It sounds like he hints at the uh, Medea not being done. I know a lot of people are hyping this up. Yo, Jeremy, did you see the Tyler Perry clip where he talked about bringing Medea back? And he literally only said, you know, and it's no surprise to me. It's honestly no surprise to me. I mean, he talked about how he was just blown away by the support for the farewell play. It was his most successful tour. And, you know, maybe that old bird's not done yet. And this was my, and you'll be able to see my last tour, maybe. On BET Plus, you know, uh, the Medea Farewell. I think it's a great idea for what he's doing. Um, he pretty much confirmed that the Medea Farewell play won't be on home release. Now, I don't think... I don't think it's an impossibility that it will ever be placed on DVD. But just know that in terms of the near future, we will not be receiving the DVD, um, you know, on on a home release DVD or Blu-ray or whatever the situation will be. Uh, but to be fair, you know, I, I get it. Streaming is the way to go now, but there are people like me who just love a physical copy. Um, not to mention, he made a good point, you know, about going out to stores, which I think is a smart move uh, to avoid, you know, the pandemic as much as possible. But to be honest, I mean, technically, you could just order the DVD from like Walmart.com or Amazon, just throwing that out there. But in any case, um, strategically from a business sense, uh, good model, a good way to uh, entice people to get BET+. Plus. Sure, it's a seven-day free trial, and most people will probably be passing around their login information with friends like they do with Disney Plus or Netflix for people just to watch the play. But for me personally, you know, I I know people have been hyping it up, and uh, this isn't me to speak negative, but once I see the play and do my review, personally, I feel like that's it for me. Like, I'll watch it that one time, and I mean, maybe it'll be better than I give it credit for now, and I'll want to watch it over and over again, but for now, it's like, I, it's in my mind, okay, August 27th or August 28th, I will watch the play and have a review, and then that'll be the end of that. But, you know, um, I think it's a great method because everybody else is doing the streaming thing as well. You know, Hamilton got released on BET+. Plus. You, I mean, excuse me, sorry, not BET+, Plus, Disney+. Plus. What am I talking about? Um, then you have Netflix releasing movies and series and everything, so why not do the same for BET+, Plus to get more people aboard? And the fact that you have a seven day free trial allows people plenty of time to possibly discover ruthless and bruh because believe it or not there are people out there who don't know those series exist and um there's a lot of great con let me put it this way i feel like there's a lot more content on bet plus now than when it first came out because i remember when it first dropped i'm like i'm not keeping this there is nothing on bet plus making me want to spend the 9.99 plus tax each month for this content which BET plays on rotation 24/7 but um I do think that Medea is coming back without a doubt like I honestly don't even think we need to have a full conversation in this video because Medea is the cash cow Medea um you know is the most Medea is to Tyler Perry what Thriller is to Michael Jackson or um what uh, Steve Urkel, Family Matters is to Jaleel White. So, yeah, Medea was bound to come back in some capacity. But like Tyler said when he was retiring the character, it's like I'm so busy now with all these other shows at Viacom, shows, movies, and everything. I'm going to be spending more time behind the camera than in front of it. And, yeah, I can see why the dude's making bank. So why put on a dress when you're putting six to eight figure amounts in your bank account because of the shows and movies you're producing? So, yeah. But it's like uh, when you put when you say you're going to retire from something or when you're going to take a break from something. But you once again get that feeling of, oh, people like it when I do this or that. You, you wouldn't be opposed to picking up that hobby again and doing it maybe like one more time. So, yeah, Medea, Medea is going to come back in some capacity. Now, he didn't say exactly what he'll do, but just know that Medea will she pop up in one of these 
upcoming projects he has. I mean, he talked about how he has a lot more content coming to BET+, Plus, which I can't wait for. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens there. We know Ruthless is getting Season 2 at the moment. We don't know about Bruh Season 2 yet. Um, but there's no telling what other kind of shows or movies or whatnot uh, he will be making for the platform. So I think that's great. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Are you excited for the Madea Farewell play coming to BET Plus on August 27th? Do you think Tyler Perry will indeed bring back the Madea character? And if so, what kind of capacity would you like to see her in? Would you like her to see a Madea show? Would you like, and when I say show, I mean like a series. Do, would you like to see a new Madea movie? Would you like to see a new Madea play? Or would you like to just see Madea pop up in some of the current shows he has or some of the newer projects he has like i could see Medea popping up in let's say either the new house of pain series not the season that's coming out season nine that's coming out that's already been filmed um but maybe like in season 10 of house of pain or maybe in season two of assisted living or some along those lines as funny as people want i mean as funny as it could be and i know people want it I don't think Medea should pop up in the haves and the have nots or the oval or something like that. I just think those shows should be their own merit and Medea should pop in, pop into and stick to the more comedic shows. But just my opinion. But with that being said, thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, like the video, subscribe if you want to. I'd really appreciate it if you did. And follow me on social media. Links are in the description below. And shout out to the amazing people on Patreon.